<laughs> Let's do the first two together to get you rolling so you know what I'm asking for here. This warm-up is just about keeping track of lowercase f, uppercase f, oh. f prime, f double prime, and when is it plus c versus when do I plug in the upper and lower bounds. So the first one, don't overthink that. What's the derivative of f? f prime. The second one, what's the antiderivative of f prime? The antiderivative of the derivative is f. Now, is this the one where I do with limits, or is this the one where I do plus c? Why plus c? Because there's no... <laughs> there's no bounds to use, so plus c. If there were bounds, then it would be you know, f of b minus f of a. All right, try the next four. So the big thing is this uppercase f that we've added to sort of our list of derivatives. Like before yesterday, we, we just had f, f prime, f double prime, and I guess we could keep going forever. At some point, we just switched to writing numbers up there instead of hash marks. But we added this uppercase f so that we could integrate f and have something to call it. Otherwise, we, we didn't know what to call it. So the integral of lowercase f is uppercase f. So this little warm-up is just about sort of navigating up and down the, the stairway of derivatives there. And again, the new thing yesterday was adding this uh, uppercase f at the top. Someone asked, well, is there something above that? Like, what if I integrate uppercase f? I don't know. I don't know if anybody, if that's a thing or not. We don't have to worry about it if it is.